What is good guys? It is Monday, it's 10 past midday. I've just taken my first job on Uber Eats, coming from Waitrose. So I believe on Mondays, Uber Eats run a promotion where any supermarket, you get 50% off vegetables and fruit. So there's gonna be a lot of supermarket deliveries today. That's why I'm out on the V-Moto. If I was using the e-bike, I would have to be carrying all of that supermarket stuff, all the groceries on my back, which I don't really want to do. So we are pulling up into this Waitrose to go get the order. It's not going very far from what I could tell. Oh my God, it's 37 items. Am I even gonna be able to take this? <laughs> Hiya, I've got the one for Katie. Is it the big one? So it's those two, this one. There's another bag. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'll just go rearrange my box quickly. I'll just be two seconds, yeah. Bloody hell, four entire bags. I'm going to have to sort out the uh, top box, I think. So I'm going to try and flatten that one out. I'm going to the gym after this, so I've got some trackies in there. Yeah, hopefully this will all fit. That's the Puig Mega Box that I'm using there. It's 100 litres, and I specifically asked for this one in this exact event where the delivery is massive. All right, so I've got three of them in. Yeah, I've got three of them in, but this fourth one is just gonna have to sit down here because I think it would have fit, but I already had the delivery bags in there. And I got six minutes, one and a half miles for this one. Nice. And that first delivery has proved exactly why I'm on the motorbike today. Imagine having to put all four of those really heavy bags on my back and like trying to cycle it around. Like it's just, it's just not the one sometimes. Guys, we haven't actually finished this delivery yet. We're getting a three pound order in there from Positive Eats. It's only 0 0.7, we're gonna do that. I've got to fish out all of these different bags. Hello. Hi, So I've passed, got you. quite a few ones. Do you have the pin as well, please? Thanks a lot. No worries, have a good day. Thank you. Oh, they're actually turning the Positive Eats one into a double for another 3.15, but it's an extra 2.7 miles going into Buckland, so probably not gonna do that. It's not really worth it. It seems to be quite busy now, so there's no point in me wasting my time on massive doubles like that. But yeah, we're one minute away from Positive Eats already, so yeah, nice little start to the shift. This feels way too similar to my last video. I swear I started at Waitrose and then went on to Positive Eats in the last one. It's clearly like a consistent set of places. Hello. So uh, Lorna. Uh, just Lorna. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh my God, three minutes away. I do love picking up from this place. They're always ready. And I think it's because it's like mostly cold stuff. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I finally sorted out my uh, quad lock situation. So I've got this new one here, which attaches to the brake reservoir. So the one I had before, I was actually using a bicycle one. And I think that's why it broke is because I was changing it too many times. So yeah, I've got one specifically for the motorbike now, and I've also got a new one for the bicycle and the e-bikes that I use. But I really like this new one. It's, uh, it's just perfectly mounted, like the actual positioning of it. Like it just, uh, just it's much easier. <laughs> So do you have the pen, it's, please? Uh, zero. Nice one, have a good day. Thanks. It's really weird how I used to be convinced that Uber Eats was absolute trash and I never got any jobs on it. But since I've switched accountants, I don't get any delivery orders. Like I have it online all the time. And the only ones they offer me are paying like three pounds to go like over four or five miles. And it's just like, why would I do that? So weirdly enough, I am actually quite dependent on Uber Eats after all the stick and after, after all the, the bad things I've said about them, 
I actually really like using the app now. All right, guys, here we go. Next order in Tesco South Sea. I knew it was going to be a lot of supermarkets today. We're half a mile away, but I'm currently going the wrong way. See, that guy knows what he's... I need to get that confident at filtering. I'm just not quite there yet. It just feels awkward being, like, sat in the middle of the road like that sometimes. But no, I'm determined. I will give it a go. I will get more confident with the filtering. <laughs> <laughs> it's just where they've added in these like new cycle lanes now. This road is more narrow. I think it was easier, but these little ballards have uh, reduced the width of Goldsmith Avenue a little bit. Yeah. Bloody voice scooters, mate. It's funny, I'm like habitually checking to see that my microphone's still attached. I've actually got like trauma from that. And especially I went into this Tesco, the one I'm picking up from now, went in there to ask if they had it, but obviously it just wasn't there, it was somewhere else, but yeah, no, I can't lose that, because if I lose that mic, then yeah, there'll be a bit of a delay on videos, because these Rode mics, they are not cheap. I spent £240 on the double mic setup, uh, so it's lucky I had the second one, but yeah, it's an expensive uh, bit of kit to lose. Hi. They're just doing it, darling. Yep, yeah, all right. I need to remember to actually lock the bike. Someone could have just <laughs> ridden that away. I love that the artwork on this building is always changing. There used to be a, what was it, like a massive eye on there? But no, that one looks sick. They're like astronaut window cleaners. I don't know, it's so abstract. I've got a drink to buy myself from buy me a coffee. They asked for a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this one quick whilst I wait for the order, but I'll read out the, uh, the message when I've got it. Hi mate, you've got a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's a quite big bag. Nice know. one, thank you. Bye. Cheers. So the reason I bought that So the reason that I bought that Dr. Pepper was because Nathan bought me a coffee and said, I always seem to watch your videos whilst I'm eating my dinner, or tea if that's what you call it. Uh, I'll probably say dinner most of the time. Anyway, have yourself a Dr. Pepper as that's my favourite soft drink. I'll definitely be getting on that after this shift. Are you guys still getting uh, food delivered to your houses or are you like, now that the weather's improving a lot more, are you going out to restaurants or, yeah, are you just, are you ordering at all really? All right, we've got a pretty long job to come back to. It's 3.2 miles, but it is paying around a fiver. So we're gonna take that from the COD squad, fish and chip shop. So we got one minute to this customer and then we will go off to the COD squad. But yeah, no, I was asking about the food delivery because I'm still not sure like how busy the summer will be. Like obviously it's a different game now. I'm on the uh, moped account, but I have seen a dramatic increase in the volume of orders that I'm getting. You know, I, sometimes I can just be at home and I'll start getting jobs. And that was never really the case when I was just using uh, like the Uber bike account. It just, yeah, nothing really ever came through. So it just wants me to take a photo of it. Nice one, have a good day mate, thank you. All right, now we are three minutes from the COD squad. It looks like quite a far delivery, but I'm not too worried about that because it doesn't feel quite as busy as it was when I started the shift. So I'd rather have a bit of a longer job and just uh, yeah, guarantee the earnings more than anything. the COD squad, we're getting a delivery order in because it's got to turn it off. It's from co-op anyway, I don't really like picking up from that co-op, so. Hi. Hello, got an order for Luke. Luke, yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a lovely day. That's good. You too, thanks. <laughs> that really confused me, she like <laughs> put the bag of fish and chips out on top of my phone. I was like, ah! Yeah, we got 10 minutes, I think my phone wants to load. I'm still dealing with the issue of like crap O2 signal in Portsmouth. Um, yeah, like it hasn't even loaded the journey yet. I still <laughs> don't actually know where I'm going. I'm pretty sure it's this way. I'm just gonna have to hope that it is. <laughs> yeah, we're nine minutes away, 2.2. Decent stuff. Hope you enjoy the ride of Portsmouth on the way there. Oh, 
Ah, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't find the, uh, there's no flat number on the address. I was oh, hoping that the right one. <laughs> really, uh, was it? I think I've tr tried to find this place in the past, actually. Oh, so I'd hold that from the bottom, make these bags get proper uh, condensation. Like. <laughs> Cheers, have a good one. That is one thing I've never understood about certain fish and chip shops. Like, why do they use those super flimsy bags when fish and chips is like the greasiest thing in the world? Like all that vinegar, all the oil and grease from the chips. It's like, why not put it in a decent bag? I'd prefer just like a plastic carrier bag, to be honest. Like, because it's my worst nightmare trying to take that fish and chips out and then it all just falls out from the bottom. Like, it's very possible. But yeah, we're about an hour and 10 minutes in. We've done about 14, 15 quid, which is, yeah, pretty good. I'm enjoying these lunchtime shifts a little bit more at the moment, to be honest. What is that guy on the scooter doing? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm enjoying it a lot more. And it's a lot easier to edit a video that's uh, shot in the daytime, so I hope you're appreciating it. Uh, I think my next video will be a Hemiway nighttime shift. Maybe not like 2, 3 a.m. because, you know, I just can't do that all the time. But now I'll go out on like a nice busy Friday, Friday night, I reckon. And uh, I will be reviewing a couple new bikes uh, in the next couple weeks, hopefully, because I'm trying to get them done before I go to Bali. Because uh, obviously that's going to take a bit of my time. But yeah, I just, I cannot wait. It is so soon now. Going to be on the beach. It's 30 degrees pretty much every day. Going to be watching some of the Euros out there. But the only issue with that is the time difference is like, it's like seven or eight hours. I can't remember exactly. Um, so we're going to be watching the England games at like two, maybe three in the morning sometimes. <laughs> so I've got to like proper stay up for them. But I think that atmosphere, like watching it in another country, and there's, there's going to be loads of English people in Bali anyway. Everyone knows that. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to watch out there. I'm hoping I can get another delivery or two in. I've got about 20, 30 minutes before I need to meet my friends at the gym. Today is chest day, Monday chest day always. <laughs> now to be fair, my training schedule is so sporadic. Uh, I just do whatever I can, when I can. Oh, and there's a job. Ah, oh, it's a shame, it's fresh rose pots, which is uh, always ready when you get there, but it's not on the island. Do not want to be leaving Portsmouth when <laughs> I've got plans at the gym soon. I look like it had been destroyed. I'll see if I can pull that clip back. I had like loads of orange around the bumper and then the alarm was going crazy. I don't know if that had actually been a result of impact or if someone's just, I don't know. That was really weird though. <laughs> it almost seemed like a hit and run just happened. These Getir bikes look so ugly. <laughs> I've never worked for Getir. I think I tried to make an application for them. I'm still waiting for my uh, gopher to come through. Like, I spoke with uh, the people on Instagram and they said they'd be looking to get my account moved forward in Portsmouth, but it's just taken a while to be honest. I don't really know why. Why do people do this? You shouldn't be. <laughs> like, fair enough, but it's just like, that's just dangerous. Like I get that it's not always easy on certain parts of the pavement to ride those like mobility scooters. Oh, someone doing their CBT. I really enjoyed doing my CBT actually. I thought it was good fun. And uh, yeah, big shout out to First Castle for uh, helping me get through that. It was a nice day. Like, is it worth getting my full motorbike license? Because I don't think I need it right now. I don't really ever need to go on the motorways. One, this bike isn't really made for motorways. It's more of like a, like a city bike, you know? And two, I rarely need a passenger. So that's obviously another reason that people get the full license is to take a second person on the bike with you. And I don't really care too much about the L plates, uh, like the ones on this car in front of me, actually. Yeah, I don't really care if they're on the bike. It's like a status thing, isn't it? People want to be uh, seen as legit. <laughs> All right, we're going to filter. I have been doing, these ones I find easy, but it's when you've got to go in between the oncoming traffic. But this is such a good feeling. Just cut the entire queue. Best reason to get a motorbike, I swear. All right guys, the time's 1.30. I have to do a little bit of a short video today. I've only been out for about an hour and 20 minutes, but in that time on Uber Eats, we did make 14 pounds and 46 pence. 
So we're going to divide that by 80 times by 60 to work out the hourly rate of today. And it's £10.84. So honestly, it's not fantastic, but to be honest, it does the job. Uh, I get a good video out of it. I've got to go to the gym in 14 minutes, so that's why this one's been cut early. I'll be back out again soon on my Hemiway doing a nighttime shift. Just thought I'd get a few motorbike day sessions in because I know that you guys do quite appreciate them. And uh, yeah, thanks for buying me the coffees. Uh, it's really, really amazing to see. It's nice to have like a community of people that watch and appreciate these videos. But anyway, guys, here's a nice view of Milton Park. I'll see you in the next one.